Well, the BioTrust is designed to be that key piece of infrastructure, that stem cell biobank that's really going to allow us to be able to bring treatments from the basic science bench and from early stage translational trials to things that are going to be real treatments for real patients here at Mayo Clinic. I'm going to introduce uh, Dr. Zachary Resch, who's the program coordinator for the Regenerative Medicine BioTrust, and he's going to take us on a brief tour here to let you be able to see the facilities we have here at the BioTrust. Uh, we're just opening up our new laboratory and uh, coordinator facilities here in the Stabile building uh, at Mayo Rochester, and wanted to show you some of the areas and equipment that we have um, for doing some of our work here as part of our biorepository uh, of archiving biospecimens for regenerative medicine therapies. One of our first areas uh, as we walk into the lab is an area devoted to uh, quality control measures, um, specifically for a number of IPS cell lines that we have created at an outside vendor. Uh, we bring in here and uh, do the quality control measures, including uh, flow cytometry, uh, immunohistochemistry. Um, we also use PCR and uh, various methods of validating both the cell lines themselves as they come back as pluripotent stem cells, uh, but also in the evaluation process for germ layer differentiation uh, and other differentiations we may conduct. Here in this back room, we have a cell culture area devoted um, to handling uh, human tissues for the isolation of various regenerative materials, uh, and that is handled in this room where we have one hood and one stack incubators. Uh, we also have a CPAX machine that we use for um, isolating either total nucleated cells or mononuclear cells from cord blood for uh, the purpose of either um, of possibility of banking in the future, uh, but also for the isolation of mononuclear cells that might be uh, used in uh, research purposes. Uh, here on the other side of the lab, um, you can see we have processing areas for our samples. Uh, we have a controlled rate freezer that we can either use for our IPS cells, but we also have the capability of uh, once again, controlled the uh, freezing rate for uh, units for the blood banks. We also work with the differentiation of IPS cells, and a lot of the validation uh, time points will be conducted in these areas, mostly by immunohistochemistry and some by flow cytometry. Our final area or location within the lab is isolated in that uh, we have devoted to IPS cell culture. Uh, both the expansion, uh, also validation, and then also the differentiation process. We also have a one hood that's uh, devoted to handling punch biopsies that have come over from the clinic and the isolation of fibroblasts uh, or other somatic cell types that we might use in the reprogramming process. And Zach just took you through the laboratory of the BioTrust. I'm going to take you through the clinical research unit, which is just through these doors. So in here, we have two clinical research coordinators, Lindsay and Lindsay. Hey, guys. Uh, Lindsay and Lindsay provide some key services to investigators interested in doing uh, regenerative medicine studies, such as study design, IRB submissions, patient consent, and um, specimen collection. And that kind of ends our tour here. Thank you so much for coming and seeing the BioTrust and taking the tour today of our facilities here in Rochester.